I saw small, dark clothed figures marching around an object in this part of hell. We walked closer, and I said to the Lord Jesus Christ, What is this? My friends, I could feel fear like I had never felt before. I wondered, Oh, my Lord Jesus, what is this? After Jesus had spoken with such authority and seeing the dark figures marching around an object, I wondered within myself, My Lord Jesus, what could this be? Jesus knew my thoughts, and he said, Child, hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying unto the churches. He said, There is a soul inside that object. Come, and I will show you. We seem to be in the air above this object. And as I looked, my friends, it was in the shape of a coffin. And this may sound horrible to you and unbelievable, but this is true. This is what I saw. I saw small, dark figures marching around a type of coffin. And it seemed as if the top had rolled back, and there inside was the same type of skeleton form I had seen all through hell. And my brothers and sisters, these demon spirits was tormenting this soul within this coffin. It was the soul of a man, and the screams and the cries of this soul echoed through hell. No hope, no love. This soul had lost all feeling of ever being helped. There was such a cry of hopelessness coming from the soul. I heard a cry of despair and sorrow fill the air as he screamed for mercy and for help. This soul had abandoned all hope. Oh, my Lord Jesus, can you not let him out? So pitiful was the cries of this soul. Jesus said, Peace be still, my child. The man saw the Lord, and he began to cry out to the Lord Jesus for mercy. He said, My Lord, my Lord, let me out, let me out. Have mercy on my soul. I have been here for such a long time. Jesus said unto me, This soul, my child, was a preacher of my word. He used to serve me with all his heart, and he led many unto salvation. Some are still serving me today. With sadness, Jesus spoke these words. My word means what it says, Be ye holy, for I am holy. My word says, Keep my commandments and love the brethren. The lust of the flesh, my daughter, the deceitfulness of riches led him astray. He let Satan rule him in the end instead of my spirit. My daughter, he had a wonderful big church, a fine car, a very large income. He began to steal from the church offerings and began to teach lies, and he knew better. Oh, my Lord, I felt such sorrow and compassion for this soul, for I could hear the cries of this man so pitifully as Jesus spoke. My child, Jesus said he spoke part lies and part truth. He would not let me correct him. I sent many to him to tell him to repent and preach the truth again, but he would not. He knew the true gospel of Jesus Christ, but he loved the pleasures of this life more than the life of God. He knew not to teach or preach any other doctrine except the truth. He caused many to stumble and fall in the end. He once knew holiness, he knew not to sin. He said the Holy Ghost was a lie in the end. He said you could be a drunkard and get to heaven, even if you did not repent. Much sin entered into him, my child, and he would not repent. He said God would not send you to hell. God was too good for that. He caused many to fall from the word of the Lord. He said he did not need me, for he was as God. He also said he wanted to open seminars for this kind of teaching. My holy word was trampled under his feet, yet I loved him still. My child, remember, this soul knew my ways, my power. My anointing and my love was upon him, but he chose the world instead of me. It is better to have never known me than to know me and turn back from the Lord. If only he had listened to me. If only he had cared about his soul and others. He did not listen to me, and when I called, he would not hear. He had eyes to see and ears to hear, but he would not hear and he would not see. He loved the easy life. He listened to the voice of Satan instead of me. One day he was killed and came here. Satan torments souls more that have preached my word. This is his torment, my child. 
In horror, I watched the demons march around this coffin. Oh, my people, he seemed to have a real heart, and blood was running from it, and it was up on his hands. Jesus said the blood of many are up on his hands. Jesus said he knew the truth, yet he would not obey the truth. Too late, too late. With sorrow of heart we walked away, hearing the cries of this soul echo through hell. Oh, Lord, how awful I cried. I felt so very sick inside. Satan is the deceiver of many. What you're about to see will help many to resist the devil. What I am telling you on these tapes will help many of you to understand the works of Satan. Oh, my Lord, how awful, how awful to be lost in hell forever. We walked on to a small clearing. There were stones all about and a wall made of dirt. Stones were above and light filled the space above us. This place was about the size of a ballroom. I didn't understand why this was so. It seemed to be in color. Jesus said, what I'm going to reveal to you is about evil works of the devil, and I want it told unto the world. Jesus was revealing to me what goes on in hell and upon the earth. For out of the heart of hell comes forth invisible demon powers that join forces with the prince and powers of the air, causing much damage to the earth through Satan. But we have power over the devil in the name of Jesus. Jesus said Satan is a deceiver, and I will reveal his tricks unto many. And, and as he spoke and began to explain these things to me, where the stones were, there seemed to be music coming out into the air. And as I watched, I saw Satan come out, and two men on each side of him, and they had their backs unto me. They had a black robe on. And as if Satan raised his arm, out of the side of the stone of this wall came five women. And these women had flesh upon them. They looked real. And they began to stand in a line before the devil. And they began to do types of dancing into music as Satan raised his arms. And I watched in horror as I looked at these beautiful women. They were beautiful in form. They seemed to be immaculate. But yet somehow inside of me, I knew they represented seducing spirits upon the lands. I watched as Satan raised his arm and the women stopped dancing, and there seemed to be fire that would come about their feet. An evil presence filled the place, an awful, evil, seducing presence of the devil. Oh, my God, I thought, what is he about to do? He began to speak to these women. He began to instruct them what to do upon the earth, and he began to tell them how they were going to go up on the earth and do certain things, demonic powers, evil forces in many places. He told them they would go all over the world and do seducing works for the devil, and they would begin to seduce souls into hell. I watched as he gave them commandments and he spoke unto them, and as they began to praise the devil, and he warned them if they would not listen to him, what would happen to him. He raised his arms again, and my children right before my eyes, I saw their bodies begin to fall apart. And only a form remained full of demons and evil spirits. Only dead gray flesh remained and their skeleton was full of demons. Oh my God, I screamed to Jesus, what is this? The Lord said, listen and behold. These evil spirits begin to cry unto Satan. Dear Satan, we will obey you. Give us back our forms. And as they spoke, my people, snakes begin to crawl out of these forms. Oh my Lord Jesus, how horrible I cried. Jesus said, Hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying unto the churches. These skeleton forms possess much evil. I saw the evil beings speaking to Satan, but they could not see us. O oh, Satan, give us back our forms, they cried, and we'll obey and do your will. An evil laughter filled the air, and Satan waved his arm again, and the evil beings returned as women. Listen and obey, he said. Do my bidding at all cost and serve me. This is the devil talking. You shall keep these beautiful forms as long as you obey me. When I release you, you shall go up on the earth to all these places. And as I looked, Satan raised his arm again, and on the stone wall appeared a type of movie. And in this movie place, you could see all parts of the world. You could see stores. You could see banks. You could see nightclubs, a beach, a bakery shop, a department store. 
all over these places uh, on this wall projected different places in the earth. Satan laughed and said, You will deceive many and cause many to fall from the truth of Jesus Christ. You shall seduce many. You shall go all over the world and do my works of evil and return to me with reports. My friend, the devil is real. We have power over the devil in the name of Jesus. But in the book of Ephesians, he says, Put on the full armor of God that you may resist the devil and he will flee. Satan laughed and said, There is no end to what I will do. I watched the screen again and the people of all walks of life flashed before me. Satan said, 